Hey, hello everyone, Dokiller here, coming to you in Minecraft 1.12.2 with the latest update of the Dalek mod, which is update 53.1. So today I have just opened up the game, I have not looked at anything in this update yet, and I was going to go through what I call a spontaneous review of the update. I'm just going to go through some of the initial features of the update and give my first impressions of everything as I discover them. Obviously, I might miss a thing or two, and I might get a thing or two wrong, because this is the first time I've looked at anything in here, but for the most part, I'm going to try to do my best. Okay, so generally, I just uh, start out by going into the inventory tabs, and anything new that's been added generally goes to the end of the tab, for the most part. And lately, nothing really new has been added to the general tabs in the mod, usually just to the mod-specific tabs, but I like to check anyway. So this, I remember last time I did this, the 13th set, Dr. Statue is last. So now we have a 12th Dr. Statue after that. I don't know if that's been redesigned or not. I haven't really been paying a lot of attention to the statues, but that's something that was different. But let's see here. Unit Jeep was always there. For the most part, we're not really going to find anything new in these tabs. But as I said, I like to check. Yeah, so let's move on. Some of these tabs are for other mods, and then we get to the Dalek mod. So let's see if there's... okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. Looks like we've got some new TARDIS to check out. The Chronotis TARDIS, at the very least, has a new icon image. I don't know if the model for that has changed. Let's take a look at the Chameleon circuit really quick. And check out some of these new TARDISes, if I can find them. So, Fifth Doctors. Got the Bad Wolf, Bill and Ted. I don't know if that's... I don't recognize that model. That might be a new model. Or that might have been there for a while. Um, let's see here. These have all been here. Alright, Darkwood. Eighth Doctor. I don't know if these have new models or textures or something. They do look different. Some of them anyway. Gizmo, Ambient, Galfrain, Steampunk, x 13. Grunotis! Okay. That, that is different. We're going to have to take a look at that. Third Doctor. Okay. That wasn't there before. I wonder if that's... Uh, it, well, we'll find out. Uh, Cushing, which is new, and Grandfather Clock. We're going to have to check these out. I'm going to just pop over to Quinotis. Let's uh, travel to a different planet here. Let's kill two birds at one stone. And take a look at Vortis, which seems to have the old Gallifreyan. Yeah, is that just the same as Gallifrey? I think it is. That might be just a, a placeholder for now. I'm not sure. Anyway, while we're here, we may as well check out Vortis. Oh, and the Tardis key has a new texture. It's tinier now. Uh, it just looks like it's been shrunk, but that old texture's been in the mod for as long as I've been playing it. Alright, let's take a look at Vortis. We'll also have a look at this new model for the Grunotis exterior. I'm waiting for the, the portal to render. If it does, it doesn't seem to want to render. Maybe it's because I've never loaded the world before. That's probably it. There's nothing for it to render. Okay, and this, wow, this is Vortis. I love the stars, okay. Uh, so yeah, this looks like the, uh, the new Quinotis exterior. So they kind of shrunk it down a bit, which I don't mind. Doesn't seem to have bigger on the inside yet, which is alright. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong side. It does have bigger on the inside, okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna go and grab a pickaxe. Good old diamond pickaxe here. Let's get into uh, survival mode. Take a look at what we got. So this would be the uh, the quartz on Vortis, I think. Okay, no, this is traditional nether quartz. Okay, but we know that there's got to be a blue quartz somewhere. Yeah, probably that one. So this is probably yeah, this is the blue quartz. So. Not sure what exactly it goes to, or if it's part of a crafting recipe, I'll have to look that up, but 
it's definitely an interesting addition. Looks like we can only go to Vortis to get that. And while I'm in survival mode, let me go and have a look at these guys. Hello, Minoptera. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So, yeah, I just... I honestly, I never thought these guys would ever be added in the mod. I mean, they were just in one story, but yeah. I love that model. I love the way the wings kind of just go when he's standing there. I mean, this just looks amazing. Wow. I love it. And you seem to be a passive... Well, let's see if you're a passive or a neutral mob, which means, I'm sorry, Minoptera, but I'm going to have to punch you. Okay, is that going to be all right? Well, no, I don't think he wants it. He's walking away. Well, we're going to have to do it anyway. Sorry, man. Let's, let's take a look. Okay, oh, yep. And they are neutral. Okay. So now he is punching. He's trying to attack me back. This looks like just a standard melee attack, but... They are neutral, which makes sense, which I do like. Um, I think that does indeed make a lot of sense. So now he's walking away. But yeah, I think uh, they're passive, but unless you attack them, then they start attacking you. And oh, I don't think he's attacking me anymore. Maybe if I if I got out of his follower range, I guess he, he reverts back to uh, being neutral. Okay. Or being passive, I should say, before he goes aggressive anyway. Uh, my other curiosity, let's uh, summon in another Minoptera. Summon Dalmod Minoptera. There we go. Let's see, if I attack one, will they all start attacking me, I wonder. I'm going to attack it. Okay, and now they're both coming at me. Okay. Okay, yep, that makes sense. So if there's a, there's a group of them, you attack one, they all come after you. That makes a lot of sense. Let me get away. And that guy's still coming, I think. No. Okay, now they stopped. Let me go back. And they appear to be neutral. No, nope, no, nope, he's not having it. He is angry at me. It's like, how dare you punch me? Okay, let's run away again. I'm not sure how that works then. If we get a, a certain distance outside their follow range, if they all stop attacking or I don't know what the deal is. If we get close again, nope, he's still mad. Let me get into a creative mode here. There we go. No, but I, I just, I love the model here. I remember watching the uh, the Web Planet and just, they were very interesting back in the 60s, but yeah, I never thought I'd see them in the mod. This model is beautiful. And I just love the way this looks. Vortis, the stars, what have we got here? So this is Vortis Rock, which is nice, and we seem to have some Vortis Sand, which I imagine would operate just like, yep, just like regular sand. With gravity and everything. That is just, that's so cool. And I think we've got some other ores here as well. Let me put on these shades again. See if we can find some caves. So that means I'm going to go into spectator mode. See what we got down here. Oh, yeah, here we go. A lot of caves. Yeah, if we access some of these caves, see if we get some ores that spawn. Okay, what's this? Let's get back in creative mode. Is this just a uh, crystal? Vortis crystal. If I go into survival mode, well, is this? This looks like sand, but it, no, it doesn't. Not affected by gravity. Let's go into survival mode here. Take a look. So it's very easy to mine, and it just drops the crystal block. It would seem. Not sure if it's uh, meant to be mined with a pickaxe. I seem to be doing faster with my hands than with a pickaxe. Which means I'm just going to check this out here. If I use a shovel, no. I don't know what it's supposed to be aligned with then. Uh, let's keep taking a look. Let's uh, go back in creative mode here. So we have some Vortis Gold. Which I imagine just gives you a... Uh... Well, actually, would, it, would you have to smelt it? Like, uh... now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. Let me check it. No, it drops pure gold ingots. Okay. That's kind of cool. So we don't even have to smelt it here. So that's like an easier way of getting gold then. All right. So we have quartz, blue quartz, gold. wonder if there's any other ores. I know that, uh... And now I'm burning. Okay. I know that... How, do, how did I get down here? How do I find my way up? There we go. Uh, no. There, there was a way up. I... Now I'm lost. Now I'm stuck here. There we go. So, yeah, there is a... The update video 
suggested that there was a lot of... Is this iron? A lot of redstone, but... Oh, no, that's quartz. We've already seen that. But, uh... I was looking at the wiki a little bit, and I didn't see that listed as one of the ores that generated here. I don't even think there's a Vortis redstone ore, so maybe that doesn't spawn, but we have gold and quartz and blue quartz and the crystal. Which, not sure what the uh, blue quartz of the crystals are for yet, but maybe that'll come in the future, or maybe I'm missing something, but see if we can find some other ores in these caves. Not finding any, okay. Uh, actually, let's go back to uh, Spectator. And I think there's different levels at which the ores spawn. Again, I think that is listed in the wiki. So I think the quartz spawns up high, the gold kind of in the middle. I think there's also diamonds. Let me go back to the top. We'll just go into the inventory tab and take a look at what, what other blocks there are here. So let's go back into creative mode here. And we should be able to just go into... Uh, blocks here, and let's see. So yeah, we we have diamond that'll spawn here. Crystalline spawns here as well, it looks like. And then we have the Vortis Brick. I'll have to look up the crafting recipe for that. And so diamond. Just want to take a look at this. Just like the others, I wonder... Of course it drops pure... Well, it does that in vanilla anyway. So there's kind of no point in checking that. But I was... I was curious... So, it seems to be rather hilly. We have some sand that spawns here, ores on the surface, quartz, both types. Oh, there we go. Here's some Zarbi and a larvae gun. So, let's get back into survival mode here. Okay, and these guys are strictly aggressive and hostile mobs. They make the sounds like they do in the show. And, yeah. So, they seem to be a little tough to kill. Let's see if I can get a look at what their health is. Hello, Zarbi. Hello. Let me just see what your health is here. I can't get a good look with the Sonic Shades. Ah, I can I can barely get it. I think they have 20 health. Yeah, 20 health. And again, I just, I love these models too. They, they look so great. And here's the love ray gun. Let's take a look here. Hello. Oh, and they shoot you from a distance. Okay. How much health do you have? They have 20 health as well. Although they seem to die easier from the sword. Maybe I was mislooking it. I don't know. But let's go into creative mode here and take a look at these models. Wow. So a lot like they appeared in the show. I just, I, I like the models on here. I like that texture. It looks kind of, almost makes them look like they have like this hard exoskeleton on top, which looks nice. And then the Zarbi. This is a lot how they looked like in the show. And that's exactly what they sounded like, so I really like this. And again, slight animation when they're walking and standing and everything. That just looks so cool. So I really like this, having a kind of a themed update. So I wonder, I'll bet Minoptera and Zarbi attack each other. Let's find out. Summon Zarbi. Yep, they do attack each other. Look at that. I wonder who's going to come out on top. They seem to probably deliver the same amount of melee damage, I would assume. And the Monoptro won! Woohoo! So that, that's pretty cool. Now if we summoned in a Larvae Gun, probably gonna... Yeah, probably gonna kill him with just the, with the laser. Okay. His health is down anyway, but... Okay, so they attack each other. It's pretty cool. Like I was saying, I like the idea of like an update that's themed or centered around an individual story in Doctor Who. That's pretty cool. So let's have a further look at what's going on here. So I think before I stepped out onto Vortis, I was looking at the TARDISes. So let's see what we got here. The Quinotis has changed its exterior, which makes me curious if the interior has changed. And then Third Doctor. So I'm just going to sit you down. I'm going to sit you down. Ever since they added this TARDIS health system, I just don't get why they make noises in that. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And then Cushing Doctor and Grandfather Clock. So let's take a look at these as well. Okay, so we got some nice new models and textures here. I'll we'll start with Cronotus. Oh, well, this is one that... Yeah, that doesn't look to be changed at all. What's going here? Yeah, this looks exactly the same as it did before. 
I've been lagging a lot recently, you've probably noticed in some of my videos, so I want to apologize about that. Let's take a look at you. Okay, so this one does have bigger on the inside as well. So this was Third Doctor's. Okay, yeah. This is probably what it... I imagine this is the interior from uh, the Three Doctors, more or less. I think that's where this is from. I was seeing if there's an animation on there, but that just seems to be an old-fashioned door that takes you outside. We'll shut that. Let's take a look here. So this was the Cushing Doctor. Exterior, anyway, but the interior seems to be identical. And then it looks like we have to now shut the doors manually, which, admittedly, I do like. And, oh, you can see through the windows, I think. But, yeah, that seems to be the interior just into the interior, but now the portal renders. And we still see the interior of the model, though. Which is alright, I think that's... I'm just curious how that worked. But yeah, okay, yeah. Can't seem to... okay, yeah. Anyway, um, let's move on. Okay, and that little door opens right there. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Grandfather Clock, was that... I might be misremembering this, but was this in, um, oh, the one that the Master stole the guy's body in? What was the name of that? The Enemy Within or something like that? It was a Fourth Doctor story. It was where we first met Nyssa, I think. I can't remember, but I think that the Master, at one point, his TARDIS was disguised as a grandfather clock, so I like the idea of this being added. Right now, all I'm seeing, it looks like there's the bigger in the inside portal, but all I'm seeing are the stars. Let's walk in there. Just the stars of the TARDIS interior dimension. Whoa! I hear something, but I think I am falling. That that must be the hum. They added a hum to the TARDIS vortex, but there doesn't seem to be an interior. Okay, so here is a random interior. So, speaking of hum, since we're here, we may as well take advantage of that. I think you can select that on here now. Settings, and we can change the hum. So on, hum is on. Now it's off. So this must be the hum that goes with the grandfather clock. Let's uh, switch the hum here. This is the default. I don't know if we can hear that very well. Don't know if I'm picking it up. Let's see here. War Doctor. The 50th anniversary special. I like that. New series hum from the RTD era. Or the Coral Tardis hum. And then the Moffat era hum. And then the hum from the series 11, which I haven't seen. I can't hear anything. I don't know. I don't know if that's working. Maybe it's just too quiet. Clock, which we just had, and back to default. Okay, so that seems to be all the new hums that were added. Pretty cool to have those. Let's go back to Vortis. Why are you bouncing? Where was I? So yeah, I think that was all that it looked like for the new TARDISes anyway. If any interiors have changed or anything, I'm probably going to miss those. Screwdriver. That looks pretty cool. These look so much bigger in first person. Let me get these uh, these shades off. It's just messing stuff up in the background. Traditional little thing, and I think yeah, we just go into red now. Okay, so we're gonna throw that there and take a look. I think that's the only thing that was added in gadgets. Let's go into the next tab: weapons. Just have the uh, the shields, clothing. Looked at the umbrella last time, nothing new there. Food, nothing new. TARDIS blocks, there should be some new stuff in here. Ronnie, Cronotis, Barahi. We looked at all those already, I think, so we just have... Okay, these don't even have a proper name on them yet. So, Ruth Roundels, I have no idea what that's referring to, actually. So kind of greenish, round O's, kind of like, uh, I guess, order in the show, but these are a bit different um, 
I like the textures on them anyway. They do look like they have depth to them. And in the 60s and that, they kind of just used a backdrop, but it still, it was flat, you could tell, but it still had, it was uh, textured in such a way that it looked like there was depth. We can kind of see that being imitated on these, which is why I like that texture. It looks kind of 3D. Seem to have a number of these, though. And then a heart no wall. And these look, yeah, this looks like it's from the, uh, the, the wider sections. And then these are what I was talking about with the flatter, uh, kind of the backdrop that they use for the roundos, which looked like this, exactly like this. They're kind of a bit uglier, but again, it gave the impression that there was depth and they were kind of darker on top and everything. So I like the detail that's been added to those roundos. That looks really nice. So I wonder if there's a first... Maybe it would be 1963. Yeah, did not want to do that. Did I just... I lost my sonic screwdriver. Oh my gosh. Let's see if the uh, first Doctor's TARDIS has been changed to add those roundels or not. I honestly have no idea. Let's take a look. Oh man, this is... Uh, I haven't been in this in a while. We have the full locator back here, but okay. I think that was that was definitely hidden by the model. And nothing on the other side. Okay, yeah, I like this. This makes sense. Got the light boxes there. Okay. So that does look different from last time I saw it. I don't know if that was this update or a different one. But I imagine, like I said, there's probably another a number of changes or minor changes perhaps to the TARDISes that I'm just not aware of. What else have we got? So we looked at that already. We looked at gadgets. We were on our way to TARDIS blocks, which we looked at. Um, was that Third Doctor's Council? I, I didn't recognize it, but that might have been in here before. Anyway, and then we already had a look at the Vortis stuff. Decorations, Force in a Box, that was last update. Blue Quartz, TARDIS Shell has been added to the inventory now. I think that's just part of the crafting recipe. Crystalline. The Yale key, that was new. I think I overlooked that last time, my last spontaneous review. And then we have spawners for the Monoptera, the Zarbi, and the Larva Gun. Which makes sense. We had to look at all those already. Seasonal, nothing. Miscellaneous, empty as always. And I think that is it. Okay, I'm trying to think over if there's any... Oh, of course! Of course there's something I forgot. Right. Regeneration. How could I forget? Let's get some of that precious, precious elixir. Alright, and I've got River's Diary right here. Let's take a look. So I've still got my color. We can change that right here. So we can set it to random. I only have... I put a few skins in my uh, Steve's folder. So I'm going to select from there. And let's have a look at how this works. I'm going to go into first person. Let's get away from everything. And let us do the kill command. I'm regenerating. Let's see if we can see the skin change. Did my skin change? It did not. So it looks like I... Let me take the armor off. That way we can see everything. This is the same skin. If it chooses at random, I guess. It, there's a, I think I have three skins in there. They're all kind of similar to each other, but it looks like it. There, we had a one in three chance of getting this one. So let's try that again. Did we get a new... No, we didn't. Did I? Did I not? Did I, am I missing something here? Change skin, Steve, change, yes, save. Let's see if we can get it this time. And I was hoping to get a look at him because I haven't seen him in game yet, but it does not seem to be working. I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here. I think they're all PNG format. Huh. Okay, I was looking at my skins, and I think I might have done something wrong when I made them. The resolution on the file seems to be off. Maybe that's why it's only grabbing this one. So, yeah, I think I messed up when I was making them somehow. And it's just grabbing the, the only file it can use. So I 
I regret not being able to show see what those new skins look like that I made. They're all very similar to this one, but with some slight changes. But I was curious to see what they look like. But still, maybe I'll make a, a, a video just on a tutorial about that or something. But I can't seem to get it working now. Okay. Whatever. I'm trying to think if there's anything other than regeneration. Well, there there is one thing. There is Gallifrey. Is this going to come here or is it not? It might not. I honestly have no idea. Here we go. So the last thing, just I wanted to uh, maybe go to Gallifrey, but since my world is already generated there, um, it's just we may not find the Citadel if it's supposed to spawn in one point because the world generated there before. So I honestly don't think this is going to work. This is probably just a waste of time but to wrap up the video. We're gonna go to Gallifrey, and just take a look. I don't know why that's not loading. Here we are. And there we go, it's loading. We got some Time Lords here, as always, and... I can't even get this to load properly, so I highly doubt we're gonna find anything. Even if it was spawning it'd be rare, or it may spawn in a specific set of coordinates, which is likely to be close to the origin, which means it's likely in terrain that's already been loaded, which means I'm not going to have it in this world, and we'd have a better chance if I opened up a new world and looked for it there, but... Again, <laughs> it doesn't hurt to check. So that's all that I was doing here. I don't think we're going to find anything. Anyway, guys, that was my first impressions of the Dalek Mod Update 53, technically Update 53.1. I didn't get to check it before they released a new version, but that fixed a lot of bugs, so I'm sure we had a much better experience playing that version. Anyway, um, I love the Monoptera and the Zarbi models and the Planet Vortex. It was really awesome to get an update with sort of a theme like that. I'm trying to get back in the habit of releasing videos again, so hopefully I will get an update review out for this within a couple of weeks, hopefully no more than a month. You guys start nagging me about it if it doesn't come out at any point in time sooner than that, so... Thank you, as always, for watching, guys. So, goodbye for now, everybody, and I will see you all in the next video.